Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Event, guys. Welcome back. Hi, everybody. I hope all is well. I hope that you are all in a safe place and a safe space. And guys, tonight on this channel, I am going to do Future Project, the bench makeover. This is one of six projects. So I've decided to start with this one first. So guys, if you want to see how this makeover is going to turn out, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in two seconds. Guys, these are the tools that I will be using for this project, which will be listed in the description below. Later in the video, I will switch the fabric to a different one. Here you see me using my gloves so that I can have better grip to remove the legs and to handle the furniture. As I was removing the legs, I realized that the material had been hot glued. So I had to pull out my trusty heat gun to remove, help remove that fabric by softening the glue. There it is. And I tell you guys, that really, that thing really puts out some heat. I mean, I was burning my hands even with gloves on. Once I was able to loosen that material away from the bench, I removed it manually the rest of the way. And that is one inch foam on top of that board. The fabric will be used as a template. Okay guys, I'm switching gears on the material and I'm going to use this faux leather or I guess it's vinyl, whichever you want it to be. This is what it looks like. Next, I add an extra layer of foam, one inch foam, and I've already marked where I'm going to tuft this bench. I apply the batting, staple it down, cut off the excess material, and there we have it. Once my material is measured and in place, I begin to create the tufted areas. Once that's all done, this is what it looks like on the bottom. Nice and neat. And this is what it looks like on the top. I think it turned it's turning out well so far. What do you guys think? Here I am applying the lining for the bottom of the bench. And I just staple in place on both ends in the middle. And then I take it from there, pulling nice and firm. And this is how it turned out, where I marked where the legs will go also. Okay, guys, so the rest of the material that is left, I believe that it's enough to cover each leg. It'll probably be just enough. So I'm um, going to see what it's going to do, and I'll be right back. It turned out to be enough material to cover all four legs to make strips to cover the staples and to make a nice little cuff trim around the bottom of the leg. Once I had all the legs covered, that's when I took a strip of material to cover the staples. And I glued that in place. Once all four legs were completed, then I began to reinstall them to the bottom of the bench. Right here guys, where the seam is between the leg and the bench, you can see the white part of the leg still. So I decided to cover that up with some thumbtacks, but here you see me showing you how I made some buttons to put in the tufted area of the bench. I used these adhesive acrylic gems. I will be using these thumbtacks to fill in the space between 
the leg and the bench. Right here is the cuff trim for the bottom of the leg. Right here you see me doing a trial run or a dry run of how the tacks will look before I glue them in place. That's what it looks like so far. It's not bad. It's a cute little design. I think it'll work. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And this is what it looks like with the cuff trim on the bottom of the legs. And guys, here is the whole thing put together. And look at it. I think it turned out so cute. It's simple and it's stylish all at the same time. Looks nice. It turned out pretty nice. That's what the bottom looks like. And where the seam is between the leg and the bench is covered with the tacks. Mm-hmm. It looks good. And here you can see how the buttons look. I used Gorilla Glue and Hot Glue to put those buttons in place. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so when I come up with my next future DIY project, you will know, share guys, and hit that thumbs up for a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.